Happy Monday, everybody. It's been a while. Um, we've just been a little bit busy. I was really kind of hoping that we would be in our new space by now. December 1st was our target date, but we have some issues with flooring. Um, it just has some really old tiles in there and uh, we really want to get them up. Uh, so we have a floor guy that's over there right now. He's got a big piece of machinery that he sits on and it gets the tiles right up. And they did a couple of test rows last Friday and they're gonna finish it today. So um, the place is gonna be getting ready to move in really soon, which is fantastic because we have a lot of screen printing jobs to do. And last week we did some screen printing shirts for ourselves. Um, so we, we did that next door at um, our next door shop. But right now, um, our washout room, we're just using this industrial sink area for the time being. I'll kind of show that to you. It's a really tight space in here, but this is not uh, the ideal location for washing out our screens. So that's why I bought the the shower bottoms over there so I could build that out. But obviously I need to build that out at the new shop, not here. Also the dip tank, I don't wanna set up the dip tank and the chemicals here because that would be a heavy thing to move. So I kinda of wanna wait until we get that done. We do have this printer that came with our equipment, new in the box for making our screens. Um, you know, it's this, let me turn this off. It's a Canon IX 6820. So we're gonna hope to get that fired up tomorrow to get some screens made. All right, so this lady in Hampstead, North Carolina has a drying cabinet for sale. Uh, it's about a $3,000 drying cabinet that I've negotiated down to $900. So um, I'm on my way there. She's finally got back to me about uh, picking it up. So um, kind of dropped absolutely everything, emptied the van out and I'm on my way there. She has a bunch of other screen printing equipment for sale, so I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I feel like we need, but we are very much in need of a nice drying cabinet that uh, is part of the screen printing process. Whenever you put emulsion on the screen, it needs to dry. And so uh, the drying cabinet expedites that process. And so, um, there's that. There's also uh, when you wash out uh, the screen, um, you use a lot of water, so it's nice to put it back in the cabinet, uh, dry it off again. So anyways, having a nice drying cabinet is definitely critical. The one that we have now is just kind of homemade. It's not sealed very well. It has a fan motor that's probably just not the greatest. It's not really temperature controlled. It's just drives with um, movement of air. And really these drying cabinets are made to also be the table base for the exposure unit, which we have. So it'll be nice because it'll be a lot more compact in terms of space because the exposure unit will be on top of the drying cabinet. So this is gonna be a good thing. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. All right, we got our new SD10 drying cabinet here. So put it in there. This thing is just so much more substantial and it's got heat settings built into it that you can set. Brand new, these are about $3,000. So I was able to pick this up for 900 bucks. And now it gives our exposure unit something to go on top of, even though they're two different brands, they don't exactly go together, but it'll work. In comparison, our old drying cabinet was this homemade doohickey, which 
may have worked okay, I'm not sure, but I just had the opportunity to buy this one and I really feel like if we're trying to do stuff professionally, we just gotta have the right setup. And it has this little blow motor here, but not really any true heat settings. So I would say this is a major upgrade. While I was there, I did have an opportunity to buy a couple of other pieces of equipment. Well, one other piece of equipment and some other supplies. I'll, we'll, we'll say it that way. Here's what I got. All right, they had this really nice Super Seca workhorse flashing unit. And this thing has barely been used. Looks great. This is our old flashing unit, which is pretty well worn. And I don't know, this thing has just looks and feels like it's seen better days. And it's got some ink that's been burned on it. So I don't know, it's just kind of an old piece of junk really compared to this. So I went ahead and got that. And then for 200 bucks, I got this rolling cart for screens. And it also came absolutely chock full of screens as well. So overall, pretty darn good haul. Not much more that we really need for screen printing we can get by. I will say that this drying unit that I have here is the next upgrade for sure. We could really stand to upgrade that unit. It moves really slow, so the conveyor belt is very small, and so it's just, it holds up production when you're taking shirts off. You have to wait for the next shirt to go in. So that's definitely going to be the next upgrade for screen printing, for sure. That is it for today's video. I've missed you guys. I'm hoping to start posting more often. We've just been a little swamped lately and it's been a good thing, but um, we're in transition with the new space and it's just, there's just a lot going on the holidays, but um, I'm gonna try to post a little bit more. Good to see you guys. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. See you next time.